with your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Slay J, Monkey D Ambassador here. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate, but we'll find out if that actually is inappropriate. It would have been inappropriate if I said Don Flamingo, because that guy's an asshole. <laughs> uh, Don, not with a G at the end, unless the G is silent. Another movie that I saw was The Flash, and I know this one's had a lot of controversy around it with uh, Ezra Miller. I know I told you this a couple weeks ago, Pablo, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it. It is it's it was it's worth seeing. I could I could uh, say that. It kind of reminds me of like Manus I, I don't know if it was Manus Steel, whatever the the one-off Superman one was yeah. where he fights Zod. Mm-hmm. That comes back and it's like, okay, if I wanted to watch that movie, I'd watch that movie. <laughs> and then also there's a part where something happens to the powers, and I hate when they go down this route with like people losing powers. It just throws me off because it's been done so much. But overall, I think it's an entertaining movie if you just go to movies and enjoy them without having to get too critical with them. It's worth seeing. And then as far as The Flash, like that's the thing is, is it looks, for the most part, it looks good. The things that I heard about The Flash are, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen the movie. If you catch the CGI in that trailer, it looks pretty awful. And me, I'm the kind of person that, and I did the same thing with She-Hulk, where I was like, oh, it'll look better in the when it actually shows up. It doesn't. It didn't get better. Arguably worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, right, and that's the thing is, like, you're seeing more of it. And I've also seen, I don't know if anybody has seen, but there's a TikTok out there and it explains as to why that is. And the reason is, is, is because that it's for every shot, they pay for every shot the same amount, but it takes time based on the shot. Mm -hmm. And, and I can understand that as an editor, because I go like, sometimes our audio will be off because of this or that. For example, your mic probably isn't going to be loud enough, so... We'll have to edit this where we raise it since it's close to you and you're not as loud as the rest of us. <laughs> or we could just turn the knob up. That, and it's like, because I had to do that with one of our own. So I was like, I had it way too loud and I had to constantly edit the, and it took me weeks versus something that should have been fixed previously by just having a good looking suit physically in reality. Yeah. Add, Everybody knows the best one was Iron Man because you did physical and CGI. You combine them, looked perfect, looked flawless, right? And that's such an old movie too. Like at this point, you're like, just do the same thing, make an awesome looking suit, and then you add CGI elements. That's all you got to do. Or Zack Snyder usually has a pretty good rule in his movies. If if the character has to interact with it, it needs to be as close to real as possible or real. If it's not, then you can uh, have more liberty with it. That's why, like, you may not like his movies, but they look good. Right. Yeah, true. It looks good. That's the thing is, it looks like it's going to be a solid movie. And I've heard both good and bad things about it. Mainly the CGI and that if you've seen the, the trailer, you've seen the movie. Which is another thing that goes back to goes back to Ezra Miller. And, and I've said this I, I on my TikTok, and then I'll say this here too because people may have not seen it, which is because of the stuff that he's done. And you can go check out my TikTok, or you could just look it up and type up. And, and it's... it's Because it, to me, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, that's the thing is, to me, there's a difference between, like, Jonathan Majors and him, which I go... Give him his time in court, right? Like, there's allegations. The journalists can do their investigations and stuff and interview people, and things can pop up. But until it's in court, and he has his time in court, and they decide what they what it is, then I'll go, okay, you know, that's the reality. I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm not saying anything, right? But Ezra Miller has already pleaded guilty to some things, and then there's some things he hasn't even gone to court for. And multiple of those things are related to him and kids that are underage. This keeps on happening in different places that you're at and similar things like a violence in different places you're at. It's not just like a one-time thing or like, it's it's the same thing in multiple places that you've been at. That's suspicious. Once again, I'm not saying he's guilty, but I'm saying it's one thing, if you're trying to compare Jonathan Majors, he's being treated unfairly compared to Ezra Miller. And we all know why. Yeah. Because he's white. Yeah. Because one guy's white and one guy's black and that's it. You know, that is it. And it really sucks. Honestly, at this point, I mean, if I was if I was Marvel, I'd be like, there is a lot of stuff surrounding this. Replace him with the guy that played Finn. 
Yeah. I think he he has the acting chops. He could pull it off, you know, or not, or wait until it the fallout comes, you know, but if you get ahead of it, you know, then you can still have him in your movies with the strike and everything as we've said, like things are going to be held off for a long time. And honestly, I don't care. I'm for I'm for the people that are on strike. Screw these billionaires, especially like Bob Iger, who's the one of Disney's like, oh, they're being unreasonable. Oh, yeah, unreasonable? Like, how much money you make? Well, we, we know... Or unreasonable by, like, claiming the reason why your company is almost a billion dollars in the hole because you put out too much content instead of the truth, which is your writers suck ass and need <laughs> to improve. Well, we know... We just know how money-hungry people or corporations are, I should say, and... We know once AI launches even more than it has, that it will replace... They The companies will just start using AI. They'll buy the .AI software and, or whatever um, and basically replace these people. And, and the writers know this. We already have evidence. Yeah, totally. Watch Rogue One. That's all the evidence you need. Yeah, Rogue One, because um, what's his face? Uh, oh, P- Peter Capaldi. No, not no. Peter Capaldi. Moff Tarkin. Moff Tarkin. The guy's dad. Yeah. He was not alive for any of the filming. Yet, there he is. Live and chipper in the movie. I mean, not I CGI, think... but it still kind of shows you what they're willing to do. Well, we know that at some point AI is going to start doing CGI programming. <laughs> well, the programming, thing is, so... I don't even think that it's that the writers... I mean, sure, the quality of writers do vary, right? The guy that wrote the Quantumania movie, the quality of that movie is not as good as the other movies. And that comic book writer, he's not the best comic book writer, right? Like, that's the thing is, I've seen him on other stuff, Jeff Loveness, and I go, like, the stuff he's done is mediocre at best. You well, know? that and your whole movie shouldn't rely on one character being stupid. Uh, Janet not just keeping her mouth shut. It doesn't really... Well, I mean, there's a lot of flaws with that movie, but... But that's the big one that sticks out, and if you're going in there and it's something so obvious, then then it feels like you're getting insulted watching that. I they s- expect you to just go with it. So I also feel like it's things are being rushed, right? Like, Marvel's rushing to put stuff out, and that's part of it, too. I mean, Disney's mar- rushing. Like, let's rush, 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 push mm-hmm. stuff out, put stuff out, put stuff out. And that's the problem, like, with writing, it takes time. Yeah. And that's things, and that's why it's good to have a writing team, not just, like, one main writer and stuff. The best things we've seen are, like, team, like a writer-directors, James Gunn, and I think writer-director, the Russo brothers, I think, are writer-directors, yeah. too. And so, and it's like, those are two guys, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we've seen Stranger Things, like, that's phenomenal. We have a Stranger Things shirt, and it's awesome. It's rushed, and that's what it is. Give it more time. Don't rush this stuff. Even, like, same thing with the CGI. That's all rushed. I've heard with a lot of that stuff, they go, they moved, they'll move CGI artists from Quantumania to something to Star Wars before they're even done. And they're like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. This thing's going. And, well, it's going to lack. It's, it's, you're going to see it. And people saw it. If you think you're going to cut corners and it's going to work, it's not working. I'm just waiting right. for Gun to show up to destroy Marvel so that Marvel has to step their game up. Yeah. Because right now they're taking it easy. Because they can take it easy. You're because right. Because their competition is Shazam 2. You know? <laughs> well, so... that's what they think, but they're starting to pay the price. Like, it's just they need to step up their game if they want to. Well, I, just, I just, if, you, if we kind of go back to Guardians of the Galaxy 3, that should tell us something. Because remember... Remember when they were right? He like wrote the script, and then they were gonna not. Then they were gonna get rid of him as the director, right? I can't uh-huh. remember the whole situation, but it's it's good that the, I, I don't know who fought for him. Or it was the fans or whatnot. The cast. I think it was, it was the, everything. It, yeah. I think honestly, I think everybody because they found like some old tweets where he made some really off color jokes about like I, i'm tired of people going child. to old tweets yeah it was like eight years ten years old i understand the whole woke movement but uh, come on we just people need to grow people change people do change not i'm not i'm, not, I'm not saying everyone does exactly my point is with the guardians of the galaxy 3 is that whole trilogy of that thing in my opinion is the best thing they've they've put out 
It's the best trilogy. Oh yeah. Yeah, be- because of you know Iron Man three, that that was just dog shit. But you know, <laughs> like all you know, well like, even <laughs> Iron Man two like could have been so much better, but Disney being Disney is like, well, we can't have you do Demon in a Bottle. That's uh, too inappropriate for kids, even though we'd actually be teaching them something worthwhile. Like, yep. about how bad addiction is and how it can control your life, but no. Right. Like, they did a light version of that. The best part of that movie they cut out, which is, like, he's throwing up in... Like, I think it was the beginning of the movie, too. Yeah. Like, he's throwing up in the restroom, puking his guts up, Pepper Potts is mad at it, and because of that, and throws his helmet, and that's why she does that. Mm-hmm. Instead, it just makes it look, makes her look like she's a bee. And then they show it, you know, throughout the rest of the, you know, at the party and stuff, and you're like, uh, dude's, like, peeing his suit, and they make a joke at it, but it is kind of sad, you know, and pathetic, mm-hmm. but... Like, so they did it, but they did it light, right? Like, so yeah. they could have done better. Three was just, to me, awful. I, I, I actually liked two a lot. I thought it was no, like, two was if good. you watch yeah. two right after one, because one is kind of slow, if you watch it right after, you're like, oh, this flow's so good. Well, that, that kind of reminds me of Captain America, you know? It's like um, the rewatchability of Captain America, the first one. Going from the first one to the second one, you're like, okay, the second one's great. Go back to it, and you're like, my gosh, the, the first one was so much better than I thought, you know? Um, Even that jump to third, you're like, I feel like I'm a little lost if I just yeah. followed the Captain America movies. And this just feels like an Avengers light movie. Yeah, it, exactly. It was it like the like one, a Captain America the one shot. The, it's like a one shot, right? Yeah. Like off it was of the, the story. Here's how we're ramming Spider-Man into the MCU. I'm really <laughs> upset they didn't put Goliath in in that movie. Because to have like a Goliath versus Ant-Man. Because yeah. they had that competition even in the Ant-Man movie where he's like, Oh, how big did you get? Oh, this is how bad guy. And so to see them face off and be like, oh, we got him on our side. He's just doing it for him, you know, to push the science and stuff. Because in the comics, like, he gets killed by a robotic Thor made by Steve, uh, by Reed Richards. You could have added more, even if it's just, like, real quick, short stuff. And and that's the thing. The same thing, Quantumania. Like, just some slight alterations, like, in the writing to make the character arc better because there wasn't really much of one would have made it a lot better. Where like there was a legitimately struggle of like him choosing his new family over his daughter or like redoing it with his daughter. Like that should have that should have been the focus and I could tell that in the commercials that they were trying to go that way but they didn't have enough footage because it wasn't there. In my wife she was like I don't care about these people in the quantum mania like why sh- it doesn't matter to me. They should have made like the stakes go like if things get messed up here it, there will be ripple effects and mm-hmm. things will be messed up. And then you should have seen like things too, like like maybe some glitches, sort of. You know what I mean? Like once you returned, or even before, you're like, oh hey, there's something going on, like showing yeah. up in the real world. We need let's we have to investigate it. And it was just slight stuff. You wouldn't even have to like do too much. As we were saying about uh, Shazam two, did you guys watch Shazam two? I didn't. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the people that just go into a movie. I love just movies. Halfway through this one, I just I just couldn't take it anymore. I was getting frustrated. And I know whenever I'm getting frustrated and it's changing my mood, I should probably just turn it off. <laughs> uh, I made that mistake with Thor Love and Thunder. There you go. Like, my wife was like, what is this shit? I'm going to bed. <laughs> like, halfway through. The- and I don't know if it's just because we have so much control now and it because of streaming... And whatnot, maybe it is it is easier just to just give up on a movie. Maybe at some point I'll try to finish the movie, see if I liked it. But well, it was when you hear about the movies, that's what you what you're hearing from people is what is usually what it is, right? Like that's what's correct. Which is, I heard the movie's decent. You know, I heard it's not a bad movie. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's a decent sequel. I don't think it's better. It's not better than the first one, but it's not bad. It, it's still a pretty solid movie. I think it um, kind of just loses itself from the first one. The first one was just fantastic. Yeah. And it's like they kind of went this... They lost the character of the movie. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense, but... No, no, it does. There's this time gap, and then it you feel lost. And, and I'm sure if you watch the first one to the second one, you're just kind of like... I bet I would be more like, this feels off. Like it just seems saying. thrown together, dude. Like, for real. Like, I don't know what's going on with DC. And I really hope Gunn just kills it, man. Oh, dude, because I can't wait. I'm excited. Just after us going to Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I'm like, okay, DC's going to have a chance. Well, know? even with the Suicide Squad, I was like, I could not care less about these characters. But by the end, I cared a little bit. I cared enough. But 
did you watch Peacemaker? Peacemaker was funny, but once again, even <laughs> that show, like, by the end of that show, I didn't really care what a lot happened to a lot of those characters. Now, was it funny? Was it entertaining? Was it enjoyable? Oh, yeah. The whole way, though, it was a fun ride. Oh. But I didn't really care. I mean, and then the extra scene or whatever The extra was scene was just so funny. <laughs> Uh, did you, so, have you watched Peacemaker? No, no. You gotta watch it just for that extra scene. I love John Cena, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty. I think he's better than than most like wrestler actors. Yeah. So definitely better than one of the big ones. So you think he's better than The Rock? <laughs> oh no doubt, dude. I the just Rock think Rock is The Rock in everything. Rock Rock um signs for every movie, so it's like <laughs> he's just lost that whole like. He's not an actor. Yeah. He's just. He's really he's really good on camera. Mm-hmm. He's really he's really good at playing himself. He's good at putting on a show and entertaining. I'm not saying that. But he's not an actor cuz he was the only mo- one in Black Shazam that did <laughs> not have an accent. Yeah, that's true. And it true. was like, dude, how do you like it <laughs> Here's the thing, like if they would have at least put a line in there that said, "Oh, he doesn't he talks like that because that's the language of the gods." Which is BS because it's because they're Greek, right? But the point is, like, if you would have thrown it in there, people would have been like, "Oh, okay, I'll buy it." But yeah, so Shazam was all right. It wasn't bad. Like, if you if you're not if you gave up, you're probably like, I won't say. It, I don't think it gets worse, but it's about consistent through the Got whole the movie. So if if you're done, you're done. There's not too many movies where it's same thing with me. Like, I could not get through Morbius. I could not get through it night, and I wanted to watch it. Because I heard uh, Matt Smith's performance was great, actually. I heard, like, he's the best thing in that movie. Mm -hmm. He's the only reason to watch that movie. And so I was like, let me hold out for him. And I I couldn't. I was just like, we ended up turning it off. And then never, I don't care to get back to it. Same thing, like, Matrix Revolutions. I was watching it, and I was like, so bad. I'm not coming back to this. I won't. So those are, like, the only two movies I remember, like. So for Morbius, I just took off my Marvel hat and knew this was going to be. Low and and it ex- exceeded that because of Matt Smith and I did like some of the cool stuff in it where like his look looks perfect. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing is and I so, like Jared Leto's acting. I I always have. I do think he's a good actor. Yeah, sometimes you can tell some roles not as good as others. Yeah, like uh, Morbius, I was just like no, just saw I could see already no. I, I try to give him a shot with, like, Suicide Squad, but... I feel like that was more of an editing, editing thing, personally. And, and and that's why, even for me, like, I would love to see the I your cut, A your cut. Like, I would love to see that. Because that movie just ended up coming out to be, like, a music video. And I'm very curious to see, like, what his version is. Because, similarly with Zack Schneider. Okay, so we got a cut of his movie with Joss Whedon and then we got a different cut and to me I go like it's better but this isn't a movie this is a show Joss Whedon had the same opportunity which he never will get the opportunity because I'm pretty sure he's he's out of the business now no one wants him in the business anymore is that like if he would he's better at shows so if he would have broken something like that or if he would have made his own justice movie I think he would have been better you know like from the ground up so that that's my argument there. I'm very curious if it would actually be better than the than Suicide Squad, the thing that they put out. WB has way too like they just the big heads get in there way too much, you know. As we've talked about with uh, Batgirl, we were talking about Batgirl, like how is it that the Flash got made and Batgirl didn't get made? And it's like they were like, oh yeah, this isn't. And it's like yeah, well, it's not done. Finish the movie, let them finish it, and then and edit it. And put fine, put it on HBO Max if you need to. Actually, and, that's where I was going. Initially so it was Max. And and Flash probably should have been put out on HBO Max because I heard that was a bomb as well. Speaking of Secret Invasion, so like that show's really so the first episode was it wasn't bad. It was just weird because he was acting weird. But like he's been he was he was blipped, Ugh. and then he came back and then he went into space for like five years and now he's back. So they, that's how they explain him acting weird. They're like. Well, you were killed, and then you kind of ran away. So the first one, but it does end with a really crazy spoiler at the end. Uh, I don't want to ruin it, but it was really good. And then the second episode, Stepped It Up, was even better than the first episode. Third episode, even better than the second. And another 
spoiler for that one. I don't want to reveal that. So are so, they just going around investigating like stuff, like for blips or? No, it's it is. I mean, Please it's, don't say blip again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it just it I, I cringe, cringe every time yeah. I hear it. Yeah, well, yeah. I, well, yeah. yeah <laughs> it was like the worst thing to come out of Spider-Man: uh, Far From Home. Right. I don't know why they stuck with it. I don't know why they came with the, went with that at all. But well, it's called poor writing, and they wanted. Unfortunately, this comedic. is one of the it sounds few. Comedic. Well, fortunately, this is one of the few things I do have gripe with the Russo brothers about. Like, with Endgame, it would have been better if they would have just done it without the time passing. Because that just put in, like, all the stupid, convoluted bullshit that we see in the MCU right now. Yeah. I Don't get me wrong, I like Endgame, but that was one of the bad things that come out of Endgame. Okay, I so think. I guess what I'm saying is, like, are, is he going around investigating, like, potential... Scrolls? Yeah. It's not exactly based off of the, the comics, right? And they... I seen that in an interview and I was like, all right, all right. Oh, so it's not. Okay. It's not exactly. Are the scrolls at least? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> evil now. But but this is so. But this is the this is the this is the basis of the show though, is so and and they do reference this. It's like flashbacks to Captain Marvel, which is there's so they just brought on those few refugee refugees right, and he's like, be my spy network. Well, when he disappeared, it was all up in the air. So he told everybody else, he told all the other scrolls, like, hey, this is a safe space. What's his name? Gravik, I think, right? He told everyone else, like, hey, it's a safe space and Nick Fury's not here. So what are they going to do about it? So they all came to Earth. So now there's like a million scrolls. So you legitimately, and, and they're taken, they took other people's faces, right? So. Mm -hmm. You don't, you legitimately don't know who is a scroll and who is not a scroll. And so I was like, okay, so this isn't that far off from it. But here's the thing is, is that one of the little boys that they show, he was one of the little boys that was saved. He's a psychopath. I'm just going to get the humans to fight each other and kill each other. But they're also creating, he's creating a weapon to make it to like, to kill all the humans off so that it they can take over and it becomes a hum uh, scroll planet, right? Like that's his plan, right? Like that's this guy's plan, this kid, this kid that has grown up now. That's what they're trying to stop, right? Like so, those are the stakes. Like all humanity gonna be killed, and then as well as like they're trying to stop these things from happening, of you know these of to getting humans fighting each other, you know, like Americans, Russians, you know, and. And all these other different things, right? So basically, they need to find Star Lord, so Star Lord can give them an empty planet. So yeah, yeah, pretty much. He's, he's just at home eating cereal with his <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's gonna end that way. That would be funny uh, and kind of cool. It's just this but uh, yeah, and then he has his own uh, his own movie spinoff movie. It's it, but it's been really good. It has it's been really crazy because you're like. Is this, because every time you see a character, is this them or is this a scroll, right? Like even when they get, you only know when it's a scroll if they die and then you see them turn into a scroll, right? Like that's it. That's the only thing. There's other characters they've even killed off and mentioned and I go like, I think they're scrolls, but I'm not sure. But because I haven't seen the body, I don't know if they're a scroll. It's, 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 so it still keeps you wondering about characters that they did kill off. And, and and of course going forward and and it is crazy. Do you think how, like, it is? Is it setting up for like the movies? Because I I, I think it's probably gonna set up for the Marvels. I think, yeah. but I'm not sure because once again this might be a one division DS mom situation, which is they were being made at the same time, so they really followed the same character arc. Even though one came out before the other. They didn't know what they were, they didn't know how that was gonna end or what happened there. So then they couldn't change theirs or alter theirs based off of how that ended. So it might be a similar situation. We'll see how Secret Invasion, if it goes like, if it ends up that same with that same problem. And do you know yeah. if they're doing what, just eight episodes or like six? Uh, I don't even know, actually. I need to check, I need to find out. Yeah. But it's been a pretty, pretty solid series. I think there's four episodes 
at this exact time, which is the 16th. The 16th. Yep. That's where it's at right now. It is, like I said, it's pretty solid. I definitely suggest it. It's been it's been good. I feel like the acting's gotten better. The action's gotten better. Uh, it's got it's gotten more intense and been pretty. It's gotten crazier as it's gone on. I don't know if other people watch it this way, but I kind of like wait until the end. And then I'll just binge it. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people. That's why I've that's talked to people. Because like, well, then I just forget episode to episode, even though they'll have like their recaps, I'll still forget. Like, oh crap, you know. The you only, know. the only real recent show I didn't do that with was Last of Us. <laughs> so good. Such Last a good of show. Us was so good. But see, that's why if you follow Pablo Gunner on TikTok, he'll give you a recap and a review. That way, and then you don't have to. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> A little shameless. <laughs> <laughs>